right, two unit rates for this situation. James walked two-fifths miles in three-sevenths of an hour. So we can write that as a fraction right away, right account. We'll have our fraction line like at these. But we have two fractions that are equal, so we have two fraction lines. So the question is, where do you guys want the miles or the hours? Because those are the two quantities that we are comparing. So do you guys want the miles or hours in the numerator? Uh, hours. Miles. Miles. Uh, I'm going to put miles there just because the majority said miles. And from these, we know that all other fractions need to have the same labels in the same places. So this miles needs to be in the numerator, and this hours needs to be in the denominator. By the way, we will make a third fraction for this. Now this first fraction we have right here. We know that it's two-fifths miles. Two-fifths for three-sevenths of an hour. So there's our first fraction. Since it wants two unit rates, we need the miles to be one, and we need the hours to be a one. So let's do one mile per how many hours, which is, I guess, a little backwards, but that's okay. And how would we do that? Well, we would take this two-fifths and we would divide it by, well, two-fifths. <clears throat> But if we do it to the numerator, we must do it to the denominator as well if we want an equivalent fraction. So we'll divide to 3 sevenths by 2 fifths, which also means that we need to take 3 sevenths and multiply it by 5 halves. And that would give us 15 fourteenths of an hour. And this is our first unit rate. The next thing we want right here is to get how many miles for one hour? So which unit rate do you guys want? Do you guys want the original unit rate, rather, two fish miles for three-sevenths hours or one mile for 15 fourteenths hours? All right, that is what we will do. So how do we get 15 fourteenths to be Juan? We just divide it by itself, 15 fourteenths. So we'll take one divided by 15 fourteenths as well, like at these. Which really means we have 1 times uh, 14 fifteenths at times. And uh, that would be 1 over 1. 1 times 14 is 14. And 1 times 15 is 15. There's our second unit rate. Which is very nice and pleasing to the eyes. One other thing that you guys should hopefully remember because there's a shortcut for this. Once you found one unit rate from this one, we could have reciprocated this 15 fourteenths and got 14 fifteenths right here. Right? We just flipped the fraction. Mm -hmm. uh, but we do need to label everything. So it's 14 fifteenths miles per one hour and one mile for 15 fourteenths hours. So we need to show both of these values. So this is our first one right here. And this is our second one right here. All right, so just keep in mind, we put the miles in the numerator. If you put them in the denominator on this one, you'd be fine. Eventually, we will have a unit where it will no longer be fine, specifically because the miles depends on the number of hours that has been walked. 